Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today you're gonna get a short video um, because my bag is teasing me. Before we start I have another uh, announcement that I have already posted in the community tab here on YouTube and that is that I'm I'm not going to be posting any videos in August, the month of August 2023. I'm, I'm taking that month off as a break. The second break since 2014. Uh, the first break was in 2019. So yeah, I think it's about time to have another little break and that's going to be in August. Now you um, have heard about it. And um, today's video, we're going to have a look at this. It's um, the cheapest, it was the cheapest power bank that I was able to find on um, online, um, best value-ish. Uh, it wasn't the cheapest cheapest because you could get way smaller ones, cheaper. And I have already done a review of it and then someone asked in the comments about one of the other power banks how the battery configuration was inside of it and I didn't know. And I thought it would be interesting to see um, well, not the one that was asked about, but this one. What does it look like inside? This is the cheapest of the cheapest of, of that size. It does about five to six hundred watts, and there is, I believe, it's five hundred and seventy-six watt hours in it, or five hundred and eighteen watt hours. I guess it doesn't matter that much. But so today I thought we'll just take it apart and have a look inside to um, satisfy my curiosity and maybe yours. So, I have already ready some screwdrivers and I have already found that it's the wrong screwdrivers. This is not Phillips head, it's Torx. So I'll go and ready some other screwdrivers. Uh, so we see that uh, maybe maybe these are Phillips head. Yeah, okay. So these are Phillips head, uh, the other ones are Torx. That's, inconvenient <laughs> yeah it looks like this it has a flashlight on this side and a power on off button thing never used that in for anything yet it has a very nice um, I in my review video of this I might have been a little bit too negative about it because it, it wasn't able to run the exact tool that I was actually purchasing it to run so that kind of hit me off track but it's actually not a bad little unit for the amount of money I believe this is about 218 pounds uh, for the unit itself then you can get solar panels with it and then it's 300 and something something but it's still very affordable compared to the competition out there and this is a no brand there's no brand on it and um, there is multiple companies selling this as their brand, but they're very similar like in Oh, you change the colors and call it uh, this brand. Okay, good for you Let's try and see how far we get with that fill set. All of these screws out here are Torx So but there is five screws on the back that is Phillips head So I think maybe we can take the back off there is no way of turning off the device. That didn't seem to do anything, so we need to release all those tocks as well. Oh, we can see, we can see the first evidence that it's. 18650 cells that is in this do we have anything in the bottom of it we have some feet here right. 
basically get some proof of what they might be doing here. They say that uh, cell capacity is that amount at this voltage. So very interesting to see if, uh, let's see, if they have all of these 18650 batteries in series. That would be, but I see that uh, the label is um, on top of everything. We need something to cut that. So let's see if we can, I have the cheese knife here. Test sticker there as well. Yeah, it's starting to give. Uh, it's better put together than I was expecting. How the how does this come apart? Okay, so this is becoming a bit embarrassing. Uh, well, I figured out how to take this, uh, the, the flashlight out of there. It, it has a nice connector to, to remove that. But I can't figure out how to take this apart. It's embarrassing. It, um, it opens up here, but the top just doesn't come apart. So up here, there's nothing holding it together. I can't see any screws or anything. Uh, it's as if uh, the, the top part here where the handle is, uh, everything else is put uh, together and then they have glued this on. That's the best idea I have right now, that it doesn't actually come apart. You can access some of it from here, but Definitely not very serviceable. Oh, I actually, um, to answer one of the questions that I actually got, uh, we can measure the battery voltage. What voltage comes out of the batteries? So there's a lead there and there's a lead there. And there is 22.87 volts coming out of that. So that means that there, so that means that it's configured in a six, S. So there are six cells in series, and that's probably one, two, three, four, five, six cells here that way, and then there's a lot of them parallel down that way. But yeah, this is really irritating me that I can't get this apart, and it's so close. There's, there's nothing up here. And still, it's just not giving in. Okay, I might be on to something. Oh. Okay, I have to give up. I can't, for the life of me, take this thing apart. But the whole bottom of it is cells. And you can see the cells here, the 18650s, and there's six cells uh, that way. And it goes from one end to the other end. So there's quite a few cells in there. Unfortunately, I can't get to count them. I would have liked to, but yeah. So probably like this amount of cells in here. Uh, so that is probably 10, 10 cells in the length. So that's something like 60 cells that are in there. My best estimate. Um, it looks, what I can see through the hole here, it looks very well built and, and soldering joints are okay and they have used connectors like good beefy XT90 connectors and there's an 
XT60 connector right there to connect to the battery and whatever is is used in here so that looks pretty good and of course on the other side we can't see as much because there the the fans are um, which is blowing air through the the power station here and yeah it's a it's really unfortunate that it doesn't come apart so it's quite embarrassing that I was not able to take this apart and it's not as if I didn't try see how it uh, totally smashed my my things here from well this one is almost cracked uh, from the I fix it kit it was not from the lack of trying it just did not want to come apart Yeah, it really hurts my pride that I was not able to take that apart. So I just, I was just gonna have a look at this one, the Blue Yeti, and this is the EB, it's the EB70, and this is a thousand watt inverter, and these has bigger cells. I am not entirely sure what the cell number of these are, but they're bigger and beefy. So at some point we should have this apart, but I just took the end off here. Uh, let's have some end cover looks like that when it's when it's on there But I can see that there is some plastic here that that makes me uh, pretty sure that On the bottom of it. They have hidden screws underneath the feet here So I would have to take those apart Also, they have a hidden something here With some plastic on top and under this label. There is also something that I would expect needed to come off. But I'm not gonna take this apart in this video. I have been embarrassed plenty. So what should have been a simple video of me just taking this apart and pointing on, that's a battery and that's an inverter and that's a something something else, uh, turned into an embarrassing show of, uh, I couldn't do it video. Um, it does still work, which is awesome because that's why I didn't break it. I, I kind of like this. And even if it is the cheapest one that I could find on, I think it was eBay or Amazon. I'll leave some links in the description if you want to go check it out. I do actually have to recommend this because you get a lot of power station for your money. And from what I can see, except that you can't take it apart, it's really well built and the cells looks good in there and the soldering job and the plastic quality it's not the same quality as the blue etty that we just had in here but that is also almost three times the price so for one third of the price of that blue yeti you get a really good and solid unit and as i tried to show you it does actually have good connections in there like standard plugs for unplugging the battery and I guess that might be the inverter that was connected on the other plug. So you can detach it inside through the maintenance port here. That This is the port where you get to the most stuff. This one only reveals the fans. So yeah, even if this was not really meant to be a review video, well, we reviewed a little bit anyway. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. And now this is getting heavy.